is New Center 11. Authorities in West Alabama say a teacher there is accused of having inappropriate contact with a student tonight, the charge that teacher is facing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dina Day. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for New Center 11 at 10 o'clock. Livingston police say they have arrested a teacher at Sumter Central High School in Livingston for allegedly enticing a female student. Police tell us the teacher turned himself in at the Livingston Police Department yesterday without incident. Our Chip Scarborough joins us now live in the studio with more on how this investigation played out. Chip. Well, Dina, Livingston Police Chief Roger Tolliver says it is currently away on vacation. Dina. All right, thank you very much, Chip. And an Neshoba County woman on trial for the death of her boyfriend has been found guilty of manslaughter. That verdict was handed down yesterday, and 33-year-old Tyronza Jones was set to be sentenced today. However, Judge Marcus Gordon decided to delay the sentencing until July. Oh, it was just better to say either. Wow, that looks great. Thank you so much, Brian. I can't even say crack the 80 degree mark. The first time this year? Yeah, we hadn't heard that. <laughs> time. Thanks, Brian. Well, in other news, construction on a new skilled nursing facility has started on Highway 39 in Meridian. A groundbreaking was this morning for North Point Health and Rehab. Officials say it will have 60 private rooms with 20 dedicated to the care of Alzheimer's patients. Owner Bruce Kelly says this center will be a new concept for a nursing care. We're excited. Well, Kelly says he hopes the nursing facility will be in operation in early 2014. Applications can be submitted for jobs through Poplar Springs Nursing Center, along with patient referrals. Well, still to come tonight on New Center 11 at 10, why looking good might be hazardous to your health. We will explain in tonight's Health Watch. And tonight's Fugitive from Justice is a local woman. See if you can help law enforcement find her. It could pay off. New Center 11 continues in a moment. No matter where, no matter when, you're connected with New Center 11. And finally tonight, the annual Meridian Symphony Orchestra Crawfish Boil is coming later this month. The annual fundraiser will be March 30th at the Frank Cochran Center. Tickets are $25 in advance, $30 at the door for all you can eat crawfish. Advanced tickets available at Harry Mayer's, Bella G's, Cater's Market, and the Meridian Symphony Association office. And that will be a lot of fun and delicious too, I'm sure. Delicious and almost as nice as our forecast really for the next yeah. seven days. Not too bad. Tomorrow looks fantastic. It'll be a 70. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Wade Phillips. And I'm Dina Day. We have some breaking news to tell you about. There has been a hunt on an Amber Alert for six-year-old Jashayla Hobson. And apparently at this hour, she has been found just uh, moments ago. Yeah, Wade. we just learned that she was found just a few minutes ago. I'm apparently on the side of the road in the Savoy community. Okay, we received notice uh, yesterday evening, actually, but the little girl uh, disappeared from East Kemper Elementary about noon yesterday when she was taken by an unknown woman. They had a description of the woman that was about 12 noon. Now, her family was not aware that she was missing until she did not get off the bus. That is according to Kemper County Sheriff James Moore yesterday. Uh, of course, they called authorities. There was an Amber Alert put out and uh, they started retracing the steps of what happened at the school and what went wrong that that little girl disappeared from the school. Now that about 6.30 last night is when they got all the forces together, including the FBI, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, and of course the Kemper County Sheriff's Department and other authorities uh, with a command center there in Scuba at East Mississippi Community College. And fast forward to this afternoon, approximately 1.30, there's word that the little girl has been located Presently, all we know is that she has been taken to a Meridian Hospital and she is expected to be okay. So that is the good news and that is what we know. Probably the very best ending possible to this Definitely. that she's located and a lot of answers right now. That's right. And we do have a crew uh, in Kemper County at the command headquarters that we'll be checking in with momentarily about what is going on up there. Of course, this is great news for all law enforcement. They've had a long night uh, interviewing people overnight, giving people polygraph tests. Uh, you know, there's been a uh, very intensive investigation and search across the two-state area overnight for this little girl. And indeed, you have to think that find the, out how this all played out. 
And we should let our viewers know, uh, we are not aware of all the circumstances that led to the little girl being dropped off. I believe it was on Burridge, Burridge Road right, in Lauderdale right. County. Mm -hmm. But as of last night, they were looking for a vehicle that was described as a four-door, medium-sized, gray vehicle. The woman that they believe uh, took little Jashon, Jash Jashayla was uh, described as uh, a black or possibly Hispanic woman, a dark-skinned woman, who had very uh, significant and distinguishing tattoos, including some tattoos on an ankle that were stars and tattoos on her other leg that was actually a tattoo of a butterfly. So if you know anybody fitting this description and can help law enforcement find this woman for questioning, uh, please call the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Department or call 911. Yeah, also said But again, be on the lookout for a four-door, gray, medium-sized vehicle. Also be on the lookout for a woman who is described as a suspect, possibly the woman who took little Deshayla from the Kemper Elementary, East Kemper Elementary School yesterday about noon, walked into the library uh, and, and took the little girl out. She, uh, she is described as a dark-skinned woman. Uh, the Sheriff, Sheriff Moore had said black, then he had said possibly Hispanic. She is described uh, with, with long braids tied mm -hmm. back in a, a ponytail, but she also had very distinctive tattoos. Again, tattoos on one ankle that were stars and tattoos on the opposite leg that was a tattoo of a butterfly. So if you know anybody fitting this description, she's described as a, a young woman in her mid-20s, uh, you, you need to call law enforcement, call 911 right now. Absolutely. Well, coastal officials say none of the beaches in Harrison County are closed because of that fish kill. Not sure I'd want to eat those, mm -hmm. but go right anyway. ahead, Lindsay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you got? All right. We Police issues. Some Meridian police officers say they have major problems with the new police chief. Tonight, they're talking about it. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dina Day. And I'm Wade Phillips. Tonight, we begin with a special report we've been working on about the Meridian Police Department. Well, there are complaints from some officers about the way they are treated by new police chief James Lee. Chip Scarborough joins us live now with more in tonight's top story. Chip. <laughs> 